Hello everybody and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at LWC Recipes OSS, also known as 90 Web Components Recipes Open Source. My name is Philippe Ozil, I'm a developer at at Salesforce and I'll be your guide. As a reminder, this video is part of the series in which we tour the different sample apps. If you haven't watched the first episode yet, I recommend that you watch it for a general introduction to sample apps. In this episode, we're going to do a tour of Lightning Web Components Recipes OSS. I'll share first about the use case of the app. I'll tell you a bit more about how you can install the app. We'll go into the details of what are the key differences between this app and LWC Recipes. And we'll also take a deeper look at two recipes in particular, libd3 and also an external components npm. LWC Recipes OSS is very similar to the LWC Recipes app that we covered earlier in this series. Both apps teach you how to develop with Lightning Web Components thanks to shortcode snippet called Recipes. However, unlike the other sample apps, LWC Recipes OSS does not run on the Salesforce platform and it doesn't have access to Salesforce data. It's a standalone Node.js app powered by Lightning Web Runtime or LWR in short. Thanks to LWR, we can implement apps with Lightning Web Components and run them on our local machine or deploy them to any cloud provider that supports Node.js runtime, Heroku, Google Cloud, AWS. If you want to take a quick look at the app without installing it, simply head over to the lwc.dev website and click Recipes. Or if you want to explore further, you can run the app from your local machine. All it takes is a recent Node.js server and a few commands that are documented in our readme. I'll show you how. I'll start by cloning the Git repository locally. I'll make sure that I have a recent Node.js version installed. In my case, this is the current latest long-term supported version. I can then install the application dependencies thanks to npm, the node package manager. I build the application with this script. And I can now start the server. Once the server is up and running, I can open my browser to access my local site. I get the same experience as the online app. Now that we have access to the app, we can explore the key differences between LWC Recipes and LWC Recipes OSS. The first thing that you can notice is that there are fewer recipes in the OSS app. For example, there's no data category. The reason behind this is that our LWR app is independent from the Salesforce platform or any kind of backend. You're free to implement your own backend logic with the technology of your choice. For example, in the event with data recipe, we have a wire adapter that retrieves contacts. This part looks like what you would have on platform. However, when we look closely at the implementation of the adapter, we can see that it's a fake data source in our app. We import our contacts here, and these are just some hard-coded values. In the real implementation, we would call some APIs or connect to a database. What's also specific to LWR and, by extension, LWC Recipes OSS, is the fact that we can benefit from the Node Package Manager to pull third-party libraries from the Node ecosystem. We use this to our advantage in a number of ways. Let's take a look at the libsd3 recipe from the third-party library category. This recipe uses the d3 library to render a graph. From a UX standpoint, it looks exactly the same as its LWC Recipes counterpart, but what's different here is the implementation. If we were on platform, we would need to define a static resource with the library files. This means copying over some JavaScript and CSS files and repeating this each time we want to update the library. Now, since we are in the LWR app, we just need to declare a dependency in our node project file and the node package manager will take care of retrieving the dependencies for us. Then, in the code of the recipe, we can import the recipe directly with a single line here. On platform, we need to use the platform resource loader module and a bit of a synchronous logic to load the library. Another benefit of using the node package manager is that it enables modularity and reusability. For example, in the external component npm recipe, we import and use a set of third-party standard web components from the wired elements library. Just like as d3, we have a dependency in our package.json file. We import the module in our recipes JavaScript file. And that's it, we can use the web components in our markup. 
We only need to specify the LWC external directive to distinguish these components from our Lightning Web Components. This concludes our tour of Lightning Web Components for CP's OSS. We covered how to install the app, what are its distinctive features compared to LWC recipes, and we shared two examples of recipes for working with third-party dependencies. Head over to this link to get started and explore the additional tens of different recipes along with our source code. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video if you found this content useful. Remember this is part of a series and we'll be touring with different sample apps in the upper videos. Thanks for watching!